Hello guys, welcome to another session of Pope Confers the Ward campaign. The ward is strange in many places, but at least what we're trying to do is make it more Catholic. The results are uh, mixed. There are some places where we had some success, in the China, some of uh, Indonesia, but it's not nearly as good as I'd hoped for. And actually, now that we're here, I wouldn't mind checking if I have some power to convert people. I think it's maybe been five years for someone. I think those guys are already Catholic. Uh, wait. Is Protestant, people East Africa. Where are you? Oh, I need more cohesion. Currently, four years as well, so it doesn't even work. Uh, so, what's the problem with cohesion? I think the problems are twofold. Everyone hates me, and there's a our block members with total separation or state atheism. It doesn't show me who that is. Probably not you guys. Oh my god, do I really have to check them one by one? State religion. Isn't it someone like here? Yeah, you guys. Do I just kick you out, to be honest? You have a capitalist revolt, but they're all Catholic. Uh, yeah, a capitalist revolt. Doesn't really change anything. Not really converting because you're refusing to follow my orders. Mm, I think I will just let you guys go. It's unfortunately, that. Uh, it's really strange how changing the laws in vast subjects work. They just sometimes refuse and they don't really give you a good reason. Why they, like, they first they defer and then years later they tell you, eh, no, we decided not. It's a bit difficult. And they are preventing me from doing other stuff currently. Or do I help them and try once again to change their, uh, their law? I don't think there's anyone else who has it. Uh, you guys have. You guys used to be proper Catholics way back when. A separation here as well. Uh. Why? Why did you guys have state religion like good guys? Refused. Yeah, n now they hate me, so they're just going to refuse or defer or Johor is enacting it. Okay. Okay, let's finish this war with France and then I will look into stuff. You guys are conscripting again. Okay. I think the war is about to be over. Mm, are the Brits actually still pushing here? I don't really see what their numbers are. Yeah, now that my um, actual conscripts are coming back, why did they even go away in the first place? And yeah, because the naval battles didn't have... Like, they didn't have enough troops to put both into the battle here and on the front line. It just got instantly taken. So yeah, this is it for the war, I think. I just need to wait a few weeks and it's going to be over. But that's good. I don't need even that many troops anyways. Yeah, let's just remove most of them. Even if they join this front line, it doesn't really matter. Because I don't need to be pushing here. I would be fine just defending, frankly. So, uh, yeah. Let's just wait a few weeks. Uh, actually... It would be nice to maybe start 
doing something about all of those civil wars. Do you guys have enough troops that 80,000 wouldn't hurt you? It would hurt you and... Uh, you are not working. I need to demobilize you because it's... I'm not fighting anyway. We need to give them at least a small number of troops so they are actually doing something. Yeah, you should be... Recruiting conscripts are crazy, but you guys are not recruiting any conscripts for some reason. Do I need to re-recruit them? So you guys have some, you're just not recruiting more. Also you have, yeah, low organization, but that's because you have bad amount of units. That's not fixing itself. I, had, I didn't previously notice problems with the conscripts, but lately I've seen quite a few, and that's kind of surprising that they started to happen like this. Got the movement out of Tyrol, most likely. Not much of a problem. I almost think I can restart construction, maybe. That would be really nice if I could. I cannot withdraw them because they are actually fighting in battles. Well, anyways, it's going to be finished rather soon, so... Then I can clean up those civil wars. Then prepare for a war against Great Britain next, I guess. I assume the truce is running out or about to run out. Nine more months, so... 24 months. Yeah, it's going to be soon. This war might not be finished, I'm actually not sure. The France looks like they're kind of wrecked. They're not doing too well. The GDP is fine. Okay, we got we got the W. Super nice. We got Corsica. We got Tunis. Do you guys have total separation? Thank God, no. So now let's clean up uh, those revolutions as the first order of things. Uh, actually, you know what, maybe let's move you guys. Ah, I cannot cancel it. And uh, no, I can cancel it from here, I think, right? Yeah. Good. You guys invade here. And then the smaller army invade over there. Because there's no one in Australia anyways. You guys have bad orders, but I can actually change it from here, that's nice. And you guys can go, you guys can demobilize. Yeah, we should, and now Russia demands cut down in size. Wait, what? What? So it's Russia. Do I want anything from Russia? I mean, not really, to be honest. They have barely any navy. They wouldn't be probably that hard of a target because I assume their army is rough. Yeah, they have skirmishers. So they wouldn't be difficult to take down. But I cannot force them into my... Uh, Power block. I could take Finland and Baltic governance, Greece for whatever it's worth. But it's not really that great. Probably pretty rough when it comes. Yeah, they have less than a million population in all of those states combined. Oh my god, those are horrible states. Russia has pretty rough uh, coastal states overall, despite its size. Uh, the only good ones, I think, are in this area, and even then, like, Crimea is pretty rough. And Finland probably is not great. Finland is better off than the United Baltic uh, governments. I don't really want anything from them. I could, like, release Poland, I guess, but at this point, I don't know, they're still majority Catholics. Russia is kind of bad at converting, I guess. 
Good for nationalization, I guess. How much do they own? 17. That's not even really that relevant. You'll just put uh, more reparations. They might just invade, uh, see if I can do a naval invasion of their capital and ignore them. It looks like this should be done, at least one of them, before um, I need to bring my navy back to defend. Uh, there's a lot of stuff happening here. I can take a minus one here. Exile. Uh, who's he? A Republican. No, thank you. Don't come back. And here, different article. Yeah, so sorry, Frenchies. Money is coming back. GDP is growing up again as well. Just with building stuff. Good. Japan is having a civil war. Spain joins. Now that's a bit annoying because they have a bigger navy, but we still don't have any borders directly. At least I'm not seeing any. And yeah, so Germans are trying to see it. Well, good luck with that. Actually, you guys should hurry so you can start going back. I wouldn't want to be start uh, getting invaded. I could recruit some troops. Just in preparation for um, doing the naval invasion as well. And you guys are trying, should be good enough. Yeah, it's skirmishers, so should be good enough. And it is the capital, right? Yeah. Wait, this is also the Japanese uprising. Oh, uh, it's against the Americans, okay. Because that's how it works, apparently. Wow, the Brits are still pushing. French really got wrecked by our war. And what are they going to lose? This is done. Good. Morsagali, French Panama. Oh yeah, Liberate Ossetania. That would be really good. This is irrelevant, but they still are have this as a possible war goal. Liberate Bavaria. Yeah, I mean, by all means, we can France. But this is done. You guys go back ASAP. You guys are coming back to not even Ninja HQ, maybe go in here. I'm not sure if you're going to make it 60 days. And uh, they should be able to, I think. Yeah, I think so. This might take a bit longer because there's just a huge amount of troops. Even then, eventually it should be done. Yeah, I'm happy we are making some money still. We really need to recover at least a little bit. And those ports are not going to help, but coal mines will certainly. At least somewhat. We have barely any balance though. So we are being limited in what I can do when it comes to growing GDP further. I think Ottomans more will definitely help. Again, attacking them. Yeah, the Spaniards didn't really have that much of their colonial empire left, I don't think. They have the yeah, Cuba, and I think that's it. This war has broken up, but we have some defense, and the ships are coming, so it should be fine. I'll just make an invasion on St. Petersburg and hope that things. Uh, they just give me their money. It's probably not even going to be that much, but it is going to help. But I need to solve this problem of not being able to convert people in my power block. 
Yeah, because that's annoying. I cannot force them to change the law. It's the annoying thing. So let's... Uh, you guys are actually changing the law, if I remember. Yeah, you guys are trying. And you are getting it done. So that's good. CM, that's fine. Freedom of conscience. Even though I would prefer you didn't. I think they're mostly Catholic anyways. Okay, so they're good enough. Over here. You know, of conscious, but it's good enough, I think, as well. Yeah, it's good enough that I don't really care, but Jambi. You guys are refusing this for God knows why. You have extremely high liberty desire. Are you guys mostly Catholic? Just barely. Still dealing. Oh yeah, they, they are the ones that said that they are going to think about it. Just annoying. Because it usually takes them a long time to actually decide that they're going to refuse me. I guess I have state religion, which is what I want. Britain is embargoing me. I'm surprised they didn't do it before. I guess I have freedom of conscious. How about you guys change? Have you thought about that? Mm, can I give you change in uh, education, even though I'm supposed to be able to? Or can I maybe force it? Maybe not remove from power block. Yeah, I cannot because they're a subject. Yeah, because it says in the power block thing, thing here. Or maybe it's mm, in secret civics. Impose. The impose is kind of weak in how it works. You cannot really force a change. In law, especially when they're your subject, like if they were just part of my power block, I would consider declaring war on them to change them back to uh, no total uh, separation. But hmm. yeah, and if we had this, we would still be at 100% even with all of those penalties. Just this penalty is absolutely huge. I'm not sure, maybe it's stacked. Maybe they just refuse. And there's like nothing I can do. The only thing I could do is declare war on them, I guess. Which is very annoying. At least they're not all separation. This is getting done. We got stormtroopers. Hmm. Why don't you guys actually stay in this one and we try to do a naval invasion then? I'm saying my enemies are no. Is that a front line here? Ah, oh, it's another civil war. So it's uh, Marina Pontifica. Let's try to make a naval landing on Russia. I'm not sure if it works out, but I think it's worth trying. Once I clean up Java, I will think about what to do with all those people who are preventing me from imposing religion because that's the most important. The only thing I really have left at this point is imposing religion and getting all of the. Uh, oh, they're taking control over this, but it doesn't really matter, frankly. So, sure. Yeah, those fleets are just going to be destroyed. I'm going to say politely no. Mm, yeah, not that many ironclads as well. And Russia is moving a ton of troops over here. So it might be tough to actually make a landing. Mm, well, the first battle is going nicely, but 
free hit, yeah. I mean, I have a lot of troops here, but they're not even, they don't have full efficiency because there's not enough ships. No, we shall see. Those are kind of trash troops as well. No, no. Are you guys still working on it? Yeah, those battles are just taking a long time because there's a lot of soldiers to be killed. And yeah, actually they're done. So before you guys go anywhere, how about... What? Wait, this army is here, okay. You guys are here. So this one... There's going to be one victory. Let's see how the second battle actually starts, because this will tell me pretty much if we have any chance of making a push. We got more recessions, but that's pretty much a given. And Greece is very annoying, because that means all of the incorporation is going to reset. So that sucks. I don't really have a possibility to, to worry about it now that I'm in another war. Yeah, I guess we just have to tank it again. This is over again. And no. Not seeing any. I can impose, but imposing. Yeah, this is the imposing. There's no way to actually force them to do it instantly. Yeah, and they just say no because they don't like me. Very annoying. And there's nothing they can do if they say no, then I just have to accept it. <laughs> uh, I guess I will just release them in this case. Can I release them? I should be able to do it through here, right? I'm committed to a diplomatic play. What? I mean a war, but I'm not in the diplomatic play. What? We are fighting with even numbers, but seems like that's not quite enough. Yeah, having not enough ships is going to be a problem. So maybe I will just uh, have some ships join that navy. Yeah, I will just combine them, frankly. I don't... there's not enough admirals, so let's do it like this. Eight weeks to get there. And you will defend over here. A quick succession. Uh, it's not actually. Yeah, at least one state will be able to finish coring, so that's nice. Everyone has claims on it. It's annoying that when you have to do the rush, uh, at the end you get over infamy, and then there's pretty much no interaction you can do with your subjects if you're over 100. And the real issue is it's really easy to get. Uh, oh, looks like the French British were ended up in the white piece, as probably could have been expected. And it's really easy to get over 100 because a lot of provinces are worth just 30, like when they have decent population over a million or something. And there's not much play around that. It must be continued to try and land, but I could in theory upgrade those guys. I think I have enough uh, radius at this point to try. We got more steel. I think that would be useful actually. Might not have enough electricity, but we shall see. Those guys are in default again. 
We're getting some coal mines as well, which uh, the Brits are starting something. Which I, get, I cannot even free my subjects because I'm constantly in wars now. Uh, they want to conquer this, liberate a bunch of places. Sure. It's all just annoying. And we cannot convert anyone because of the total separations. I wonder if this stacks. Yeah, there's nothing we can do with religion, there's nothing we can do with relations because everyone hates me at this point. And I get... Uh, I can't even change their laws really. And yeah, those guys are going to have total separation as well. I can't have like impose uh, government regime change. Only mean a few targets. It would be theocracy, national guard, state religion in British Senegal, which is supposed to be nice. But can I? Uh, let's say I wanted to take British Senegal. Can I do this and mm, regime change? Okay, but I cannot do it on Congo, for some reason. So this... Uh, I guess I kind of want Morocco as well. Yeah, but I try to go for subjects in order to not get as much infamy, but that's... Not even interacting with them. Uh, I'm getting money from them at least, a little bit. Very little. I can get one more thing. I guess British of Africa would be nice. No. It's too big, okay. Yeah, this doesn't really matter. No, I guess it's fine then. There's going to be another very big war, and how's the navy? That's the question. Pretty big. And this battle is going better. With the additional ships, looks like we are having a better chance. Yeah, I think I need to mobilize. Uh, actually, now that's too bad that I don't control this, because this would be my main front line, usually. No, that might not be... Too bad as well, because I can then... Uh, they are not going to be moving their troops here. So, the war goals are British Congo, British Senegal, and Morocco. So, it's just going to be naval invasions. And those guys are part of the war, right? There should be. Uh, they're not. Somehow... Oh, because they declared war on my protectorate and then added those. This seems, again, like AI is exploiting the rules against me. Uh, because instead of attacking me, well, I guess it means I can surrender and uh, they will only get uh, this one state of my subject. I'm not sure if that's how it's supposed to work, that I'm not calling in... Maybe they will join once the opening moves end, so let's not actually be that hasty. Mobilize at least one fat army. No, they're not. They're not joining for some reason. Maybe you can call them in. No, that's not the... No. Annoying, but what can you do? Yeah, I think I have to wait and see what uh, those troops manage to do, because I will need a lot of my navy to actually get anything done. 
They might do a naval invasion of the Brits, so let's move those guys here. It is going to be uh, not the only war goal though, so actually it doesn't really matter that much. We're going to win this one again. But we'll need to win like four in a row. And they have 700 battalions here. A lot of Spaniards moving in because there's no front line. Could maybe do a la Yeah, I should try and do a landing here. Let's take you guys. Uh, let's upgrade you. Let's go for a naval invasion. Even with the penalty, there's no troops here for now. And if they move some troops, they will have to move them from north as well. Should be fine. There. Yeah. Adding corvals. Yep. You get. Mm. Oh my god. Uh, please don't. Goddamn Ludites. Now let's recore. Hmm, where are you guys going? Do we have any other front line? No, because no, none of my subjects are actually part of this. Bulgarians? Oh, I guess in Skopje. So they're not going to finish pouring, unfortunately. Okay, well, this is done. So you guys can go back here to defend. Let's move this fat army over here. Because it's probably going to be the main front line. Let's upgrade more um, cannons. Am I being raided? No. I'm just losing a ton on supplies. Fair enough. I'm winning? Isn't it like another battle I've just won here? Let's move you guys over here. You guys are going here, sure. Yeah, because the Brits are going to respawn first. So I need to have some troops over there, and you guys are revolting. You guys are probably not even close to being uh, going for white piece, no? Naval invasions in here. Well, they are going to try, and yeah, the British Navy, it might be too much. It's going to be a problem. So we have uh, three naval invasions just in Italy. They have two armies, it might not be enough still. There's a lot of conscriptions again. Do I continue trying to do anything with this? And it seems like I'm winning another one. Maybe I should. Yeah, my navy should be losing, I assume. Yeah, they are losing. We are defending the naval invasion for now. This is... Oh, because it's a different sea. 
I see. They are having some success, that's the annoying part. We are running out of money though. Good pause construction. Even though it wouldn't even change that much to be honest. There's uh, a lot of private construction going on right now. Yeah, we're only having our 25% we should be getting as uh, last affair. Oh my god, what's this mess? Uh... What's this? I think we're winning at least. Uh, this is a front line as well. And they're trying to naval invade us. Oh, wait, did it didn't show up as a front line before? Oh, this is a revolt here as well. What a mess. I guess this will be done soonish. Yeah, it looks like their entire army of their alliance is sitting in uh, Moscow. Oh my god, the AI picked the worst way to actually try to control all of those territories, which is pretty amazing. Come on, and you have not even close to enough generals. Let's promote some guys, just... Try to get anything. Yeah, I'm splitting them in half, but it's not really splitting them in half. Give you a general as well. Yeah, finish this because it's going to be quick. Finish this. Clean up. Can reinforce in the sub, but that should be pretty quickly done. They can just walk into area they have no access to. It, I don't think it should be possible. Like, how are they getting here? Oh my! Oh my God! Look at this mess. And now, yet yeah, here is here is the problem. So where do I defend? I guess I can split them in half. Hopefully they're going to be coming on time. Should be finished quickly. We need to also make a landing on Senegal and Morocco. The convoys are... I'm already starting suffering from not having enough convoys. You guys are almost done though. Though even then, even if I manage to win this somehow, can I defend against almost a million troops? With my 100k. Mm. You guys are going in the wrong direction as well. If someone is going to do the same. Just clean, clean things up, please, please. Why is everyone beginning conscription? actually started doing your thing. And actually, no. What do you guys go here? Uh, we're using a lot of this on supply routes and trade routes, but oh my god, the British Navy is fighting. We don't have enough ships. And somehow they managed to sneak a landing, which might have been, again, as always, their strategy of having so many naval invasions that one ends up working. Yeah, you guys got defeated. At this point, I don't think moving this navy is going to be changing that much stuff. It's already pretty rough. Okay, Bulgaria is out. You guys are actually going in that good direction. You guys are fully repaired. Let's get you back to fighting. Uh, 
I mean, almost landed here somewhere. But if it's going to be two front lines, it's going to be even worse. And people are walking around and not finishing some of those states. We are defending here for the time being. Pushing in the south. Ah, it's... Oh my god. Actually, they didn't actually land in the capital, at least. And now everything is isolated because we are running out of convoys. I'm trying to rush... And it's actually defeat. Okay, let's cancel this. Let's give it up. Try to defend there. More, more troops over here. What? What is this front line even? Don't we control? Okay. I think the game is working in really strange ways now. It still thinks it's not occupied, even though we're fighting over here. Yeah, another entire army is coming here. I think those guys eventually will just give up, but it's going to take a while. There are a lot of naval battles here, so maybe the um, ships are slowly going to be recovering. After we clean them up, there's going to be a while. And we also need to make some naval invasions on our own. Uh, you guys split here. Look at this border guard over here. Well, at least we have cleaned up the Congo. arriving another revolt somewhere we got oil in Persia oh that's nice the thing is that all of this occupation doesn't really matter that much to be honest except that the devastation is slowly growing but it's going to take time anyways and the biggest problem right now is the credit I think I think I will be able to remove some of my troops because I have massive advantage in numbers in uh, Africa. Way more than I actually need. Oh my god, they have a ton of troops uh, going for the actual war goal, which is, well, what you should be doing, but AI doesn't always do what you'd think they would do. And... Uh, Bridge quality is not too bad, but I guess I shouldn't be surprised. Yeah, they're definitely still pushing. I think we are kind of solving the problems with the convoys. Okay, and a ton of Africa is being occupied, though it doesn't really matter that much because not all of this is war goals. We got you guys done, so that's nice. Uh, you guys should move probably over here. Not much I can do about money. Uh, I remember that I never changed the... Mm, production method, but it's not going to be changing things massively. I need to be reducing the amount of troops that are fighting currently because we get into another spiral of uh, ports and losing money. Okay, that's good. I, think I definitely want this. Uh, changing it right now is probably a bad idea, right? I kind of don't want to risk it and 
getting the penalty without the game telling me. I think it would tell me that I would lose uh, organization or something. I don't know stuff happening. Am I defending still? Here I'm apparently I am. Million troops they have. Well the the Brits do have a pretty good game with uh, annexing a ton of uh, India. As they usually do. I need to. We're definitely protecting central Mediterranean Sea, but I'm not sure how effective we are doing in western part. I could remove some trade routes. You were exporting opium. That's probably not necessary. Importing coal. Not that necessary. Exporting sugar. Eh. And not even that much. This, yeah, this is useful. So we moved a ton of uh, usage of convoys, but still. It's just all port connections. And we are about to run out of money. Mm, so, wait, uh, did my navy lose here? Or, no, they're fighting here. It's just so many <laughs> pop-ups that it's not really showing them correctly. And yeah, we are not able to push them back, really. No, I don't think they're... Mm, they are pushing slightly. They actually got pretty close to winning here. Spain is out. Now we probably would have been able to make a landing here, but it's a bit too late. Uh, so you know what? Let's split you in half. Let's need more admirals anyways. Feminist. Now that's rare in this country. And let's try to make a naval landing because we need to finish things up and quick. And where are the capitals of those colonies? Especially here. Uh, where is it? Where's the capital of British Senegal? Oh, it's here. Mm, sure, actually, well, that's absolutely fine. Just not really something I expected. Uh, there's too many battles. Oh, yeah, they got under the state, I think. I'm defending the capital for the time being. Uh, why are the numbers so low? That's a bit surprising. Usually I'm pretty good at recru recruiting. And even then, if my numbers are so low... Why do I have so little money? Well, definitely the convoy situation is not helping. Uh, maybe I should have accepted they want. Uh, yeah, probably I should just accept it. There are actually bigger uh, problems than trying to conquer stuff at this moment. And it's... Uh, basically the fact that we will not be able to convert anyone with the current situation. This is probably the biggest problem right now. You guys are okay with white peace? Oh, they are. And I'm still fighting someone here. Let's see you guys there, and everyone else can be actually demobilized. 
So we can start making some money again. Okay. So thankfully the Brits got pissed out for relatively easy. <laughs> the China is going to be fighting the United States, okay, over Indonesia because the United States are obsessed with Indonesia. That's really strange. Um, but yeah, the problem is still I cannot impose my religion on anyone because I have no cohesion in my... And yeah, I think it's tax. So I will need to remove total separation from three nations or just kick out three nations that have total separation. Which should be doable, actually. Java, unfortunately, seems like they just refuse to change the laws. And they're at least Catholic, but I don't think we made much progress there. Yeah, not significant. Yeah, I don't think I can actually let them go now. Yes, because I cannot be committed in any place. And because civil wars are constantly starting. Hmm. Where are you guys revolting? Over there? Can I even get to you? There's no front line here. Uh, I mean, yeah, I guess I can just leave this one. And you guys left, so it's actually fine. Uh, you're a Catholic anyways, so that's good enough. Yeah, we need to start kicking people out to actually start getting some good stuff. There was actually more troops that went over here on their own that I didn't even realize. Okay, we're back to making money. A little bit, really not that much. Oh, I never stopped construction. <laughs> uh, I mean, that's fine. I clearly need even more money. What am I doing? Yeah, this is more money. That's good. It doesn't really help me. I don't really need more capacity. I don't think I need anything else from here badly. Yeah, it's all fine. So let's just focus on military. With this, we should be able to actually destroy everyone. Because I'm pretty sure nobody has uh, this tech. It's uh, barely spreading. I mean, there's some spreading in production. But even here, I think we're ahead for the most part. Okay, so can I release you guys now? I cannot because you guys joined the Sulu play. No, you didn't. What? Why, why can't I release Java? Huh? Oh. Of course, there's this. Can I have peace for like five minutes just so I can release some nations? And it will actually take a bit of time to take up again the cohesion, so I would really want you guys to clean things up. <sighs> okay, okay, okay. Uh, what time is it? Yeah, I think it's a good moment to pause. I'm still committed to converting as much as possible. Though I think it's not going to be really visible on the map, I'm afraid. It would be difficult to gain majorities in some places. Um, but I would definitely try. Yeah, I will be able to, for example, convert Persia for sure. As soon as I can regain uh, cohesion. But there's just... Uh... Yeah, again, as with the um, Brazilian campaign, I'm running into issues with changing laws of my subjects. And not even, like, members of the power block. And with um, Brazil, I ended up just starting wars with everyone to impose government. 
But it turns out that against your subjects, if they refuse, there's not much you can do. And it's actually really important to be able to change those laws. Like the only way I can actually force them to change is to release them and then invade them to change their government. Which is pretty silly, even though I have an option to try to impose my laws, they just can delay or refuse and there's no counterplay from me. Like even if they like you, they sometimes don't really pull up on it. The AI is pretty rough. And again, running out into similar problems. But yeah, GG. See you guys in the next episode.